Well, you might consider that uh, as a, as a lecturer in the College of Music, and I might be rather sniffy about the fact that the Spice Girls didn't come from a, uh, a factory background of where they were all friends together as 10 year olds and fought their way against adversity to, uh, to take the music business by storm. <laughs> this is just what Chris had in mind of five individuals. Uh, with their own individual concepts, their own individual attitudes, their own individual presentations, but they were working as a band. They were working together for uh, a musical presentation. Recognise a, uh, a niche in the market that was following take that boys up, boys back. They felt that a girl band was what was needed, and they advertised, got, selected the people that they wanted, and trained them with uh, an absolute dream. So uh, that was the, the early sessions, and uh, by about the end of July, things were looking fairly good, but there was uh, a bit of a problem. In fact, friends and family say it was talented Michelle who decided to leave the group of her own accord after her mum, Penny, became ill, and she was also offered the chance to go back to university. Uh, that was a, a sad time for a lot of people, although it was was the right choice, I think. So then the next problem came in, replacing Michelle. So Chris had to work pretty quick. Uh, it's now August 94. So he had to work quick. He rustled up um, another audition, got together about 20 girls. Now it was a much easier task, because he had four girls. He knew the sort of girl he was looking for. Um, I'm really, it's really cool. He had the four, four right of the five. So we need to find that, that square peg to fit in the square hole.